documenting the aftermath. He joins Rick Recknuth in hard hit Tuscaloosa. Rick. Hey, yeah, Jason, you took some amazing pictures of this tornado. And I got to tell you, one of the things I've been struck with is everywhere I turn with my iPhone and take a picture, it just looks like a devastating picture. Uh, tell me what, where you were when the tornado hit and how you were able to get in here and take these kinds of pictures so quickly. I was actually at home when the tornado hit. And uh, as soon as it passed through town, I went ahead and uh, came into town uh, by DCH Hospital. Uh, that's where my wife works. Mm -hmm. um, it, trees in the roads, it's got to be difficult to get around. Trees were in the roads once I got to town. Uh, the most difficult part was the traffic. Right. So um, when you're out there, you're from this community, you've been through one tornado in the past. How does this compare? Oh, this is by far worse. Uh, the other tornado, um, at the time we thought it was uh, horribly bad, but this is, this is far worse. Yeah. How does your community, when you're seeing pictures like this, how, how do you think you guys handle this? What do you do? Um, support each other. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest things that I've seen in the last three days is uh, the amount of support and the amount of volunteers coming around handing out water and, and uh, um, snacks and stuff like that and, and helping people dig things out and cut trees. So your, your wife is a nurse mm -hmm. at, at the hospital. The hospital was crazy. Yes, sir. The hospital, uh, my wife uh, works in the endo endoscopy and uh, they used um, their, their area as a triage department for the, the ER the night of the hurricane, uh, the tornado. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of the GI doctors came in on their own and did a lot of suture work. Right. So when you're here and you've been walking around and you're seeing pictures like this, a lot of times you get a tornado and it hits one area, but you see this, what do you think? Every, every site's new and it's the same thing. It's just some areas are worse and uh, uh, I'm, I don't think words can really describe as bad as it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I think that's the, that's the story. We're seeing uh, all of these destruction for miles and miles. Uh, it's not one community, and uh, that's what's so devastating. Guys, the sun's going to rise. Uh, you were just saying you think this is the worst neighborhood hit. Uh, yes, sir. I've been in uh, several areas, and um, it's all bad, but I, I do believe that Alberta City is, is by far the worst. All right, guys, the sun's going to come up here in the next uh, couple minutes, starting to rise on the horizon, and you're going to see what's going on here, and it, it's certainly frightening. So we'll bring you more. Send it back to you. Yeah, Thanks it's one more. of those moments where it just cuts, it's, it sort of takes your breath away when you see the perspective in the daylight. Thanks very much, Rick. The NFL draft delivering plenty of surprises. Rich Big Daddy Salgado here with what's behind.